If you've ever made an effect that will increase the scale of something, you might have noticed when the scale is going back down that the item will jump behind the elements that are after it, even though it's still bigger and it can look a little weird, that instant sort of snap where these two uh, images on the bottom are coming in front. Luckily, there's a very simple CSS solution to this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go all the way down to the bottom and I'm gonna create some new keyframes here where I want these zero and 100% both to have a high Z index value. In this case, I'm using 100, it does not need to be 100, I just use the same one that I put on for my actual hover effect right there. Then what I want to do is we can actually take this selector right here and we can just say image and then add not here and we want to only target the ones that are not hovering and we're going to give it the animation now of our Z index hack and as far as the timing of this, you want it to be the same as the animation itself. In this case, I'm doing 2000 milliseconds to slow things down to make it a bit easier for you to see. Now, when I come in front, it has the Z index of 100, so it's in front. And when I'm not hovering anymore for 2000 milliseconds, so for the length of that animation, it also has the Z index of 100. I'm not putting a forwards on this because I want that to be removed at the end. So it's getting the higher Z index value. It's keeping that higher Z index value and now it goes back to its default, which has no Zend index on it at all. And now all of these will work and it will not jump behind the other elements that are around it. And of course, you'd probably have a shorter time than 2000 milliseconds. Use this with whatever speeds and whatever Z indexes that you need for your project.